developing news now. The Rhode Island Commerce Corporation just wrapped up a meeting a short time ago about the developer's request for more money for the Pawtucket's Tidewater Landing Project. The project includes a new waterfront soccer stadium and hundreds of new housing units. 12 News reporter Sheena Lashuto fills us in on what happened. The board members met behind closed doors for about two hours. That part was private, so we weren't allowed to listen in. But before that, they met publicly for about an hour. And during that one hour, board members had a lot of questions. The Tidewater Landing talks continue. The proposed Pawtucket project coming with a $344 million price tag. The developers, fortuitous partners, blames inflation and supply chain issues for a recent hike in the cost, something they're hoping the city and state can help with. We're not going to get any of this done overnight, uh, but you've got to start to get it done. The developers are seeking $30 million in funding split between Pawtucket and the state. That's where the state's Commerce Board comes in, meeting Tuesday to discuss the possibility of putting more state funding toward the proposed soccer stadium. Many raising questions like what happens if the stadium isn't successful and are we sure this is the best deal for Rhode Islanders? I think that what's in front of us right now is a decision. Do we want to build? the stadium. I believe that we have the ability to do that. After two hours of executive session, the governor's office says no votes were taken. There appears to be mixed reaction from board members, with a majority of them asking Commerce to continue negotiating and get more answers from the developers. And the governor himself says he believes the heart of this project is the soccer stadium. So he believes if the state can get the stadium here, the rest of the project will follow. Reporting in Providence, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.